Hi, okay. Good evening, everyone. I am Juliana Valaro, and last year I contemplated suicide. You could never imagine when being bullied that the attacks are coming from the inside out. You can only think, I'm being attacked, I'm alone, and I don't know what to do. I'm alone, and I can't feel anything. But any classic TV show, as we all know, could represent the character of a bully. The one who would take lunch money or push a kid in the hall. Now, this is not the bully that I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about a new type of bully. A bully that forced someone into thinking they were something they didn't want to be. I'm talking about a bully that is inside of everyone. Growing up, all I ever wanted was the perfect life. I wanted the two parents in the suburban house with the white picket fence. I didn't acknowledge that my single mother and I and only child were our own type of normal. I, I thought I was abnormal and alone. Now, entering middle school, after years of envying my peers for having my perfect life, I realize even more people on the internet could have what I now think is the perfect life. Having an hourglass body or going out with your friends, being able to retain the same weight with their lavish diets. I didn't understand the Photoshop and fake reality being projected onto my home screen. My brain never made the connection that I'm normal and everyone else is their own type of normal. Now, I'm sitting in the middle school cafeteria. I look down at my small Caesar salad in front of me and I struggle to pick up a fork as if I might gain weight from doing just that. I take a bite of lettuce and I excuse myself from a conversation with my friends and walk over to the girls' lavatory. I'm alone, it's silent, and yet I still hear the voice say purge. Not only was it till later that I realized it was my own flesh and blood telling me to do so. This invisible voice infused depression and anxiety into my bloodstream. It locked me in a cell and it was my guard. With the unknown sentence, I was alone. I pushed the people who I loved away. I was alone. I didn't have friends. I was alone. My brain couldn't make the connection that all the people around me were the ones who made me not alone. Now, here I am being thrown down into help because at a therapist left and right, I can't really see the path in front of me. I didn't realize that she was trying to help me. All she wanted was to help me not feel alone because she knew more than I did at the time. She knew I wasn't alone. I didn't. After a long while of suffering, I realized I was not the only one being haunted and tormented by this unseen voice, this unseen bully, the monster who terrorizes so many in this audience. I can say, standing here proud, that the connection that I made from my brain to my world taught me that I am not alone. And I am proud to stand here and say to all of the victims of these bullies who are still fighting that I am proud of you. Thank you.